Elliot found this grow box. We decided to turn it into a little planter. There are holes like, you know, on the sides. So I had the idea to kind of line it a little bit so that we can plant in it. little intro we're back in the garden and um, hi my name is Michelle Montana if you're new here thanks for stopping by I hope you stick around and if you're not new here thank you for sticking around so this gorgeous hosta came back from last year of course it's gonna be blown out of course you're not gonna see it okay um, and someone had commented that I should move it to this that it would do well in the shade if I move it to the shade it'll still do well um, because then the leaves won't get scorched in the Sun which happened last year literally happened to us last year probably with this exact hosta that the I had it out front the leaves got scorched and uh, it just didn't look as hot so it's hot. if you watched my like part one of in the garden I carelessly potted or planted that wormwood which is a full sun plant in in like the shadiest area of our of our um garden so i'm going to do a little switcheroo and i'm also going to we have this other pot here that i'm going to um i'm gonna pot i'm not sure which i'm gonna put in which but there's a hosta that's growing real slow in the garden, in the actual garden that came back from last year. So I'm gonna put it in a pot for the time being and let it get real big like this one and then I'll and then I'll replant it in the bed. So that's it. That's all I need to say right now. Now you can just watch me do it all. <laughs> took everything out. Beautiful, babe. Nice and strong. Okay.
So the other night, my in-laws were here for dinner and we were showing them the garden and um, we were showing them this box. And I was like, yeah, it's sitting on this ottoman that we don't use anyways, but eventually I'd like to get some legs for it. And Jen, Elliot's mom, and I just like looked at each other like, oh my God, we know exactly what to do. So one of Elliot's childhood homes, they had to like replace all the spindles on their porch or their like back porch. So they, they saved some and I have them here. This is what they essentially look like. So that's going to be our legs. So Elliot is going to help me. We're going to, you're going to see it in like fast time. I'm not going to like make you sit here and watch us do it. But um, we're definitely going to slowly pre-drill through everything first so nothing splits before we use some construction screws. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I wish I hadn't planted in it first, but... I think we're just gonna get out these like saw horses that we have and um, it'll be okay. You know, if it gets a little rustled, I'll just fix it. So. Just wanted to show you too how much growth since we first planted everything I mean this is like massive and it's only been like not even two weeks Get real close on those blues. yeah I'm just about to This is here now because I felt like it was getting a little scorchy on the herb side. And look at that. And our beautiful air conditioning. <laughs> okay, so full disclosure, this was not supposed to be the end of this video. I had another DIY project that I was like so excited to show you guys. Here's a little a little hint of what it what it is. Um, but that's gonna have to be in next week's video because I ran into some technical difficulties with the products that I was using. So um, I'm gonna finish that after I, I'm at my parents' house uh, for Mother's Day. And so I'm going to finish that project when I get back. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. But it means so much to me when you guys leave comments and stuff. Anyways, yes, next week, I promise, full garden reveal for, it'll be done for the season, ready to go for the season. Okay. Love you, bye. Rocky, say goodbye. Say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> Good boy.